Let's do five pretty quick separation of variables problems. These are all of the separation of variables problems that have appeared on the last six finals. And yeah, there's not much more to say other than that. So with all of these, we're going to be replacing y prime with dy dx, and then uh, all of these will be able to be split up so that we have a function of y on the left side and a function of uh, x on the right side, and we'll be able to integrate to get rid of the uh, dx's and dy's, and we'll get uh, an implicit solution, which sometimes we'll have to turn into an explicit solution. So going here and solving, we can change this to dy dx, and then divide the y squared that's here over, so 1 over y squared is equal to 1 over x squared plus 1, and then let's multiply this dx over there. So we have dy, and then we'll integrate both sides. This will give us negative 1 over y, and that's equal to, well, what is, sorry, this is not 1, this is x, otherwise that would be uh, arctan. This will be what? u is equal to x squared plus 1, du is equal to 2x, so this becomes 1 half ln x squared plus 1 plus c. So we can rearrange, uh, we can rearrange some things here. Let's multiply both sides by negative 1. So from this point, we can solve for c, plugging in this initial condition here. So 1 over 3 is equal to negative 1 half times the natural log of 1, so that's 0, uh, minus c. So c is equal to negative 1 third, so this will become plus 1 third there. So at this point, we can flip both sides and see that y is equal to 1 over negative one-half ln x squared plus one plus one-third. And we can change this to a six on the top, a three here, and a uh, two here, and that gives us answer B, which is correct. We are finding the solution to this thing right here. If we divide both sides by uh, y, we will isolate uh, you know, all of our y's to this side, all of our x's to this side, so we can say that 1 over y dy is equal to, multiplying this dx up, 4x over 2 plus x squared uh, dx. Integrate both sides, ln y, ln y is equal to, uh, well, let's see, if we factor out a 2 here, then this is perfectly uh, perfectly u substitutable, so we'll end up with 2 ln 2 plus x squared plus c, raising both sides, uh, taking, taking e to both sides, we will get y is equal to e to the 2 ln 2 plus x squared, and then this c can come out, uh, come outside like that. This will be simplified down to 2 plus x squared uh, to the second power, and we can solve for this c knowing that y at 0 is equal to 4. So 4 is equal to c uh, times 4, so c is equal to c is equal to 1, and we're finding y at root 3. That's going to be uh, 5 squared, so 25. Let's find the explicit solution to this initial value problem. Yet again, it's separable. We can multiply this y over, so we'll have y dy is equal to t over 1 plus t squared to the 1 half uh, dt. So let's set u equal to u equals 1 plus t squared du is equal to 2t, so we can see that uh, y squared over 2 is equal to, sorry, I'm, I'm integrating, I should, be, I should be clear about that. Uh, this should be the same as the integral, uh, 1 half times the integral of 1 over 
of one over u to the one half, so u to the negative one half uh, du. So y squared over two is equal to one half times two u to the uh, one half. That gives us one plus t squared to the one half plus some c. So we are finding an explicit solution. We'll multiply this two over. That'll just give us two times that uh, plus some other constant c. And then we can take the square root, whoops, the square root of everything. Look at that, we got nested square roots. And we get uh, y equals plus or minus this. Since all we have is a square root and y is negative, that means that we have to be using the negative side of the square root. And y at 0 is equal to negative 2 will allow us to solve for uh, c. This will be 2 plus c, so c must be 2. That is answer choice D. 4, let's find the explicit solution to this, multiplying y up, uh, y dy, and I'm just compressing more and more steps together. y dy is equal to 1 minus 2x dx, so y squared over 2 is equal to x minus x squared plus c. y is equal to uh, plus or minus the square root of 2x minus 2x squared plus some other c. And since y at 1 is equal to negative 2, yet again, we have to use the negative side of that square root. Solving for our c value, negative 2 is equal to negative square root of 2 minus 2 plus c. So c must be 4, and that leads us to answer d. And finally, the solution to this initial value problem, same thing where we've ever done, uh, will be, ooh, let's cut some more steps out, uh, will be integrating 2y minus 4dy, so y squared minus 4y, and then we're integrating uh, this top bit dx, so that's x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus c, and then since y at 1 is equal to 3, we can find that c. This will give us uh, 9 minus 9 minus 12 over here, so negative 3, and that's equal to 1 plus 2 minus 4 plus c. 3 minus 4 is negative 1, negative 2 is equal to uh, c. So our answer right there is e. Hopefully this was a good refresher, and uh, good luck on your final.